I descended from the attic with the wig in hand, a plan forming in my mind. I found Tom in the living room, sprawled out on the couch, eyes glued to his phone. I plopped down beside him, holding the wig up with a mischievous grin. Come on, Tom, it'll be funny, I said, waving the wig in front of his face. He looked up, startled, and then frowned. No, Mom, that's weird. Oh, come on, Tom, I've seen the way you look at it, I teased, knowing full well he had never seen this wig before. Mom, it's too much, he protested, shifting uncomfortably. Tom, just do it, I insisted, giving him my best puppy dog eyes. He sighed deeply, recognizing that I was not going to let this go. Fine, Mom, if it makes you happy. With a triumphant smile, I gently placed the blonde wig on his head, adjusting it until it sat just right. You're now Thea, I declared with a flourish. Mom, really, this wig feels itchy, he complained, scratching at his scalp. Come on, Thea, stop being a drama queen. I'm going to make you a beautiful girl, I said, my excitement bubbling over. He rolled his eyes but didn't protest further. I took his hand and led him to my bedroom, which I had already transformed into a makeshift salon. Makeup was spread out on the vanity, and a gorgeous set of lingerie lay neatly on the bed. I turned to him, my eyes sparkling with anticipation. Ready for your transformation, Thea? He took a deep breath and nodded. Fine, Mom, if it makes you happy. I smiled warmly. It will, trust me. We started with the lingerie. It was a delicate set, soft pink with lace trim, something I had picked out for myself but never wore. I helped him into the pieces, making sure they fit comfortably. Despite his initial reluctance, he seemed to be getting into the spirit of it, a small smile playing on his lips as he twirled in front of the mirror. Next came the dress. It was a beautiful flowing sundress, perfect for a warm summer day. I helped him slip into it, fastening the buttons and smoothing out the fabric. He looked at himself in the mirror, a look of wonder on his face. Mom, is this really me? He asked, his voice tinged with disbelief. Yes, that's you, Thea. You're a beautiful young lady, aren't you? I replied, my heart swelling with pride. He looked at his reflection again, turning this way and that, a radiant smile spreading across his face. Yes, I am, he said softly. I really am. I chuckled, unable to contain my amusement. Who would have thought that catching you wearing my heels would lead to this? I teased, recalling the moment I first saw him sneaking around in my shoes, his curiosity getting the better of him. Tom blushed, but his smile remained. Mom. If I knew you'd do this, I would have worn them sooner, he replied with a laugh, his eyes twinkling with a newfound confidence. We both burst into laughter, the sound filling the room with warmth. It felt good to share this moment, to see Tom so happy and at ease. I hadn't seen him this relaxed in a long time, and it filled me with a sense of pride and joy. Well, Thea, I said, placing a hand on his shoulder, I have many fun activities planned for today. His eyebrows shot up in surprise. Really? Like what? Oh, you'll see, I said with a wink. But first, let's finish your look. I led him to the vanity where all my makeup was spread out. Now sit down and let's get started. He sat down, looking at the array of makeup with a mix of excitement and nervousness. I started with a light foundation, blending it carefully onto his skin. As I worked, I explained each step, teaching him how to apply it himself. Next came the blush, a soft pink to match the lingerie. I brushed it lightly onto his cheeks, giving him a healthy, rosy glow. He watched intently in the mirror, fascinated by the transformation. Then it was time for the eyes. I chose a neutral palette with shades of brown and gold to enhance his eyes without being too overpowering. I applied the shadow, followed by a thin line of eyeliner and a coat of mascara. His lashes were naturally long, and the mascara made them stand out beautifully. Finally, I applied a light pink lipstick, completing the look. 
he looked at himself in the mirror, his eyes wide with wonder. Mom, I look, I look amazing. You do, I agreed, smiling proudly. You're a natural, Thea. He stood up, turning to look at himself from every angle. The transformation was complete, and the result was stunning. He looked like a different person, but at the same time, more himself than ever before. Thea, I said, watching his, no, her, eyes sparkle with newfound confidence. I've been thinking that it would be fun if we went on an adventure. Adventure, she repeated, curiosity piqued. Mom, like this? Come on, Thea, stop being a drama queen, I teased, my eyes twinkling with excitement. You look beautiful. There's nothing to worry about. With that, I handed her a pair of my flats. She slipped them on, her nervousness giving way to anticipation. Together, we stepped out of the house, the summer breeze brushing against our faces, and made our way to the car. We drove to the mall, Thea's eyes widening with every passing minute. She was taking in the world from a new perspective, and I could see her confidence growing. As we parked and walked toward the mall entrance, she clung to my arm, her initial hesitation replaced with excitement. I have a surprise planned, I said, leading her toward the escalators. I've arranged a makeover at a salon, hair, makeup, manicure, and pedicure. Mom, really? She asked, her voice a mixture of shock and excitement. Yes, really, I said with a wink and a playful pat on her bum. I've been planning this for a while. We walked through the bustling mall, the air filled with chatter and laughter. Thea's steps grew bolder with each stride. People glanced our way, some with curiosity, others with smiles. Thea's confidence radiated, and I felt proud watching her embrace this new experience. We arrived at the salon, and the staff greeted us warmly. They ushered us to a private area where Thea could relax and enjoy the pampering session. She sat down in the plush chair, and I could see a mixture of excitement and nervousness in her eyes. The stylist began with her hair, brushing it out and discussing different styles. Thea chose a soft, wavy look that framed her face beautifully. As her hair was transformed, her face lit up with delight. Next came the makeup, enhancing her features with subtle yet elegant touches. She looked in the mirror, her eyes widening in awe at the reflection staring back at her. You look amazing, I said, beaming with pride. Thanks, Mom, she replied, her voice soft with gratitude. Next were the manicure and pedicure. Thea chose a delicate shade of pink that complemented her overall look. As the nail technician worked, we chatted and laughed, the bond between us growing stronger with each passing moment. Once the makeover was complete, Thea stood up, looking at herself in the full-length mirror. She twirled, admiring her reflection from every angle. The transformation was not just physical. It was as if a new person had emerged, confident and radiant. Ready to show the world the new you? I asked, smiling at her. Yes, she replied, her voice steady and full of confidence. I'm ready. We left the salon and continued our adventure through the mall. Thea's newfound confidence radiated as she walked beside me, her head held high. As we passed by various stores, a particular lingerie boutique caught my eye. I glanced at Thea, who was gazing at the delicate lace and silk displayed in the window. How about we take a look inside? I suggested, smiling warmly. Thea hesitated for a moment, then nodded, her curiosity getting the better of her. We stepped into the boutique, greeted by the soft scent of lavender and the gentle hum of relaxing music. The sales assistant welcomed us and offered assistance, but I waved her off, wanting this to be a personal and private experience for Thea. We wandered through the aisles, Thea's eyes widening at the array of beautiful lingerie. She reached out to touch a lace burlette, her fingers tracing the intricate patterns. I picked out a few pieces and handed them to her. Why don't you try these on? I suggested. Thea blushed but took the items, heading to the fitting rooms. I followed her, making sure she felt comfortable and supported. 
she slipped into one of the private stalls and I waited outside, listening for any signs of discomfort or hesitation. After a few moments, she emerged, wearing a delicate lavender set that complemented her new look perfectly. She looked in the mirror, her face lighting up with excitement. Mom, this feels amazing, she said, turning to admire herself from different angles. You look stunning, Thea, I replied, my heart swelling with pride. You look stunning, Thea, I replied, my heart swelling with pride. She twirled again, a little more confidently this time, the delicate lace of the lingerie hugging her curves perfectly. However, as she turned to face the mirror again, I noticed a slight bulge that she was trying to hide. Thea, I said with a playful smirk, you might want to be a little more discreet about that bulge. It's making quite the statement. Thea's cheeks turned a deep shade of pink as she let out a giggle. Oh, Mom! she exclaimed, quickly and discreetly tucking it away. We both burst into laughter, the sound echoing softly in the cozy confines of the fitting room. Thea's laughter was infectious, and it felt so good to see her so happy and carefree. You know, I said, still chuckling, maybe we should find better ways to hide it. What do you think? Thea laughed, her eyes sparkling with mischief. Probably a good idea. I can't be adjusting myself all day long. We spent the next few minutes trying out different techniques, adjusting the fit of the lingerie and experimenting with various poses to find the most comfortable and flattering look. Each attempt was met with more laughter and teasing, creating a lighthearted and joyful atmosphere. How about this one? I suggested, handing her a pair of high-waisted panties. These might help smooth things out a bit. Thea slipped them on and adjusted herself once more, turning to check her reflection. Mom, these are perfect, she exclaimed, a broad smile spreading across her face. I feel so much more confident now. You look amazing, Thea, I said, beaming with pride. You really do. We continued our shopping spree, picking out a few more pieces that provided both beauty and comfort. Each new item brought more excitement and joy, and by the time we left the boutique, Thea's confidence was soaring. As we strolled through the mall, we continued to tease each other, our playful banter drawing smiles from the people we passed. Thea's newfound confidence was radiant, and I couldn't help but feel a deep sense of happiness watching her embrace this experience. You know, Thea, I said as we browsed through another store, this has been one of the most fun days I've had in a long time. Me too, Mom she replied, her eyes twinkling. I never thought I could feel this good about myself. You deserve it, I said, giving her a gentle hug. You're beautiful, inside and out, and don't ever forget that. We spent the rest of the afternoon exploring the mall, trying on clothes, and enjoying each other's company. Thea's excitement was palpable, and her laughter was infectious, Every store we entered, she walked with a little more confidence, her head held high. As the sun began to set, we made our way back to the car, our arms full of shopping bags and our hearts full of wonderful memories. Thea leaned her head on my shoulder, a contented smile on her face. Thank you for today, Mom, she said softly. It was the best day ever. You're welcome, Thea, I replied, kissing the top of her head. I'm so proud of you. As we pulled into the driveway and stepped out of the car, we made our way to the front door, arms laden with shopping bags. Thea was beaming, her confidence radiating from every pore. I couldn't help but smile, feeling an overwhelming sense of pride and joy. When we entered the house, we found my husband, Dave, lounging on the sofa. He looked up from his book, a broad smile spreading across his face as he took in Thea's transformation. His eyes twinkled with approval and happiness. Wow, honey, Dave said, getting up and giving me a quick kiss on the cheek. You've done a fantastic job with our daughter. He winked playfully at Thea and started applauding her transformation. Thea blushed, looking both surprised and delighted by his reaction. Thanks, Dad, she said, 
her voice filled with genuine happiness. I really enjoyed it. You pull it off quite well, Thea, Dave said, nodding in admiration. You look amazing. I agree, I said, wrapping an arm around Thea's shoulders. She's absolutely stunning. Thea's smile grew even wider, and she looked between the two of us, her eyes filled with gratitude. I couldn't have done it without you both. Thank you for being so supportive. Dave walked over and gave Thea a hug. We're proud of you, sweetheart. You've come a long way, and you deserve all the happiness in the world. Thanks, Dad, Thea said, hugging him back tightly. That means a lot to me. Huge thanks to our wonderful Patreon supporters. For early access and a shout out in our videos, join us on Patreon. Click the link in the comments to sign up. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.